Welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I am Connor Williams and today we're back with another video. Uh, it is the 24-7 news report. As the window looks to head to a close, uh, there's plenty of news around, there's plenty of rumours, there's plenty, you know, it, it's getting to the silly end of the transfer window as it always does on deadline day and it's a, it's a day that we all look very forward to. Um, but as always, we'll start with the headline news. And the headline news is that Everton are considering to make a bid uh, for Jesse Lingard in the next 48 hours. And this comes via the Daily Star. Um, as always, with some of our bigger news, we run polls on the Twitter, on the Toffee Blues uh, Everton News V Twitter account. You can follow that. Uh, the link will be in the description down below. Um, follow it. You, you can have all your Everton news up to date as quickly as they come out on Twitter. And sometimes you can have polls where your voice can be heard and we'll read them out on the channel. Uh, the question was, would you have Jesse Lingard at Everton? 566 have voted so far. It is open for another 18 hours and 55 minutes as of this recording. 77% um, said yes and 23% said no. Um, <clears throat> for me, it's it's if you get the Jesse Lingard that West Ham had, brilliant. If you get the Jesse Lingard that ended up, you know, needing to go out to West Ham not brilliant and it's all a matter of the coach and how the coach gets the best out of him obviously Moyes got the best out of Jesse Lingard um, if Benitez can get the best out of him and he is anywhere near like he was for Moyes then I'd be perfectly happy with this um, there's a number 10 he offers a little bit more as he's a bit more of a proper midfielder than the likes of James Rodriguez and he'll run more and defensively will offer something uh, he's nowhere near the ability of James Rodriguez obviously but he offers a little bit more defensively and he will track back, um, which is what Benitez wants. He wants someone who can tra track back and quickly unleash counter-attacks, uh, and that's what he's hoping Lingard will do. Uh, we also have the news that Scottish side Hearts have made a loan bid for defender Gerard Bramthwaite. This has come via Edinburgh Live. Um, I think letting him go out on loan is the right choice for him, uh, especially if we're not going to play him. Uh, I don't know if Benitez sees it that way or if he wants him in and around the first team so he can work with him personally. Uh, if we're not going to give him games, he needs games under his belt, taking him to Scotland, you know, it'd be a good league for him to start settling in, um, get many games under their belts. Um, I think it'd be good for him. If we're not going to use him or Benitez is happy for him to go out on loan, I'd rather him go out on loan than go back to the under-23s uh, as he needs, he just needs first-team football um, for it, you know, and first-team football experience. Uh, we next, we do have that Porto did not agree to a deal, including James Rodriguez for Luis Diaz, as they want him to stay unless they receive a huge offer. Porto are ask, uh, asking for a price that is too high for Everton to pay, and that's come via uh, Pipe Sierra, who is a journalist for Winsport TV um, and an experto in the transfer market. Um, I must admit, I... I, I hoped we'd get Luis Diaz. I didn't see a lot of. I've not seen a lot of Porto play, uh, so I did some research. Went on who scored. Um, watched a couple of compilations. Watched them against City, uh, who are very, very, very good opposition, as we know. Uh, and his goal against them, he just had the defence on strings um, all the way. He's a very good midfielder. Very winger. Likes to cut inside. Um, I've seen a couple of his bicycle kicks at the Copa America as well. Really good player, really exciting. I hope we can do this. Um, I mean, that report says that, but I've also heard a lot saying that Porto saw his game the other day as his last game. So it's all he say, she say. You know, yeah, one news report, then the other's saying different. Hopefully we can get it done. Um, I don't think they're keen on James Rodriguez because of his wages. Um, I don't know whether we're going to pay his wages and just send him out. Um, I know his contract's up at the end of this season. It probably isn't going to get renewed. Um, so... We'll have to wait and see what happens in the next coming days of the transfer window. Um, we also have that Richarlison's agent have, has not been in contact with PSG and the Brazilian set to stay in England during the international break. This has come from Lucas Sop, uh, Spacito, who is a football writer for Sport Witness. Um, I, I'm not shocked that PSG actually haven't spoke to him. I thought it was a bit of paper talk. Um, Apparently they're now after Erlen Haaland, uh, and I can't see us letting Richarlison go this late in the window. Um, you know, it's just not going to happen. As from staying in England, I'm not surprised. Many Premier League clubs have said to the players they can't go because of isolation periods and stuff. I know Liverpool stopped a lot of their Brazilians going for the national team. 
So I'm not surprised. Um, Yerry Mina, I think today was told he's not going either. Um, so the fact he's staying in England is, I think, is nothing more than isolation periods. Um, but I can't see Everton letting him go in the window. In all honesty, I think it'd be a really bad idea, even for 120 million with three days left of the window. You cannot convince me that that wouldn't be scattergunned up the walls, left, right, and centre. It would be an awful way to panic spend. Um, we also have the news now that Everton have reportedly inquired about signing Sasalu's midfielder Jeremy uh, Boga. The 24-year-old is approaching his final year of his contract and Everton are among the interested teams. Boga, formerly at Chelsea, is also wanted by Palace, uh, Crystal Palace and Serie A sides Napoli and Atalanta. Uh, Foot Mercato claimed that the interested sides could take action before the transfer deadline and have predicted a hectic few days ahead. Um, He's a really good player, really fast, really powerful. Um, it says midfielder, he's a winger uh, mainly. So obviously, and I, I believe he's a right winger, so somewhere where we could argue we could need it. Uh, not a right back, which I'd argue we need just as much, if not more, but he's a right winger. Um, and he looks a very exciting talent. Um, I, think, I think the end of that puts it in perspective, though. It's going to be a hectic couple of days. I cannot express how much. I think we will do business. Um, I think as soon as the Moise Keen deal is set, we will have more to spend. Um, so I think we will do business this window. I think James Rodriguez is probably not going to leave. I don't think we're going to get anyone who wants him. So he'll probably be in Benitez's plans or not in Benitez's plans. It, you know, We'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, <clears throat> we also have the news that uh, Everton are reportedly considering a late move for Solomon Rondon. The former Newcastle United striker worked under Benitez at St. James's Park for one season and currently plays for Dalian Yifang in a Chinese Super League. The 31-year-old who made his name for himself in the Premier League at West Brom, uh, who he represented for three seasons. The Telegraph have reported that Benitez is keen on working with the Venezuelan international as he has additional backup for Calvert-Lewin. Uh, this one I wouldn't be completely against because... Um, I say he's more Benitez's his style, um, and he's more like Calvert Lewin than likes a Hopper. They're quite small, they're quite fast, but they're not very good aerially. Uh, and we, don't, I think sometimes we really do um, forget that when Dominic Calvert Lewin isn't in that squad, we still hit it up high and hope. And we need a target man, and a like for like target man type aerial presence would mean we don't have to change our style of play up massively. And his experience could probably help Calvert Lewin. Um, it's a tough one because we were linked with um, Odson Edouard as well the other day. And if you'd said to me last week, would you take Rondon? I'd have gone, yeah, yeah, 100%. Like, wouldn't even have been that fussed. But now that we've been linked with Edouard, and now it's this, I'm like, oh, if we get him over Edouard, I'll be a little bit, a little bit annoyed. Not disappointed because I wouldn't have been without. But like, it's, it's one of those, like, we've been teased with something. And you're like, oh, I'd really like that, but you know, but then you're like, it's just tough, it's tough. If we weren't linked with Edouard, there would be no qualms at all with me. My only qualm now is that we're linked with Edouard, who's an exciting young player, who I think has got a massive future ahead of him. Um, but, you know, it is how it is. It's, it's, it's Everton, isn't it? Um, we also have the news that uh, there is growing confidence that Everton will uh, and Juventus can agree a deal for Moise Keane uh, before Tuesday's deadline day, according to the Echo. Uh, the Blues remain in negotiations over a potential move for the 21-year-old who originally left Juventus to join Everton. Um, Keane is, to, uh, is ready to agree for a return to the Italian side, uh, which will see him initially go out on loan um, under the Italian Giants, but they have an obligation to buy him for a set fee between 20 to 25 million. So not what we spent him for, quite a bit less than we spent on him. We were never going to get our money back from Juventus who sold him to us. And... Other than his time at PSG, he's had a stinker in an Everton top. Um, I really wanted it to work out for him. wasn't the right move for him. Uh, I think he could go and end up being okay in Italy, but for uh, for Everton, it was just it's an unfortunate. It was one of those that were never going to really succeed. Um, the BBC also mentioned the Moise Keane um, deal. They said that uh, again. They said even you know the rumor is between twenty to twenty five million. They claim that. It's not yet clear whether the deal for the Italian will be a loan with an obligation to buy, um, but previous reports have said that it is. So I, I, I'm more inclined to believe the uh, previous report, um, just because I think if we were to get push him out on loan, we might as well have just sent him to PSG earlier in the window uh, and then stopped all this madness. Um, 
because I, I do a little bit of me thinks you know if we just give them Moise Keane maybe they haven't got Messi then you know maybe all this mess uh, you know wouldn't have happened Mbappe to Madrid Richarlison to PSG rumours would be squashed now um, wouldn't be going to Juventus which means they probably wouldn't have let Ronaldo go yeah I've got it low-key that Everton not letting Moise Keane go cause quite a lot of disruption that's not going to get heard of. That's everything we've got time for today on the Toffee Blues. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and comment down below on anything that we've discussed in this video. Do you think that uh, Jesse Lingard to Everton, yes or no, let us know down below. Um, Moise Keane, would you see him go on to PSG? Do you think the money's right? Do you think we could have got a little bit more for him? Um, do you like the looks of Boga? Uh, do you think Bramford should stay, fight for the first team, go off to Hart? Um, and let us know down below, Solomon Rondon or Hudson Edward. Let us know down below. Um, we just want to point out as well, as you know, we've recently started working with uh, football prizes. And you've got until tomorrow at 7.30pm to get your tickets for a chance to win a multi-signed Everton mount for the 1985 European Cup Winners' Cup win against Rapid Vienna. Uh, it's signed by the likes of uh, Neville Southall, Kevin Sheedy, Sharp, uh, and much more. And the tickets are only £2.95. So make sure you get your tickets before 7.30 tomorrow. Uh, it's a fantastic prize. Some absolute Everton legends there. Legends of the 80s. You know, even if you're a young fan, you know, it's a great present for your dad if you were to win it. You know, if you've got a dad who supports Everton or a family member... You know, or you want it yourself, it's perfectly fine to want it yourself with some of the biggest legends in our club's history and um, in one of the best wins, one of the best nights in our club's history. So don't forget, guys, you've got till 7.30 tomorrow. Uh, and most importantly, take care. Everton!